Oh, Joker 2 is gonna be a massive, massive failure. Someone was saying this movie's gonna open to only 45 million, but uh, that's too low, okay? 47 million is still well below the 100 million they were all saying this movie was gonna open to at the very beginning, a month ago. They said this movie was gonna open to 100 million dollars domestically, but Friday was 20 million. Off that figure, it was predicting a landslide today. Down to 20%, which means around 45-7 million. Compared to the first movie, which broke records for a R-rated movie, which records were broken by Deadpool Wolverine, obviously, but there is no interest for Joker 2. And I've been saying this for the past t couple of years, uh, they making Joker 2 a musical, which again, the audience for the movie is not going to like. You're going to piss off a lot of people. And guess what? The movie didn't do as well as the first one. Okay. But yeah. Deadpool we made $1.3 billion. Becoming the highest grossing R.A. movie ever made. While uh, Barbary of Joker 2. You know. We don't know why. It's because no fan of the original movie wanted to see the music. Because I loved the first Joker movie. It was a great movie. You know. It was a great story. Character study. Movie. About somebody's life going to crap. And no matter what you do. Your wife goes to crap, and you have no, and you lose everyone. That's basically what happens in the movie. No one's there for you. No one helps is gonna help you. No one's on your side. You're all alone. Okay. And then you do something very bad and start a literal revolution, and that's what the movie ended at. It was a good movie. Okay. But of course. No one liked this movie. So a deep cinema score, which is a very bad score. Anyone feeling they mega operas they got a deep parts, but no one liked that movie either, but no one watched it. So I you know. But it's just the fact that this is a musical. Okay. Why did they make this movie a musical? And they're gonna say it's because they're, they're gonna say it's because doing poor because of the Venice Film Festival. Okay, first of all, only the the Critics go to the Venice Film Festival. Okay. Which, again, the critics passed the first Joker film. So, I don't think people cared all too much about the Venice Film Festival. Because most people are not invited to that. Okay. It's mostly usually the critics. But, this is a movie that people do not really like. The scores for this movie was awful. So the, so, the actual budget for the movie is actually $190 million, but still, this movie's not going to make any money. So, yeah, Warner Bros. has actually had two huge flops this year. Uh, Ferosa. Okay. And Joker 2. <clears throat> okay. With our sequels to two very cult, cra to two cult classic and critic... No, not... Sorry, Joker's not critic for your but two cult classic films that are beloved by millions of people. And one of us had to say, you know what, screw the Rizzo, screw this Mad Max fan base. We're gonna make a, a Mad Max movie about a woman. You know, who cares about the fans of Mad Max? And also let's make a Joker Joker sequel that's a musical. Okay. Yeah, no one asked for that either. Okay. Yeah. No one asked for a Joker's two musical movie. Okay. And usually, musicals that are not made by Disney don't have very good openings. So it's making a female in Rats and Bohemian Rhapsody and might make around the same amount of opening to Star Wars Born. The <clears throat> difference between those two movies and this movie is Star Wars Born and Bohemian Rhapsody are catered towards partic two particular groups of people. Bohemian Rhapsody are fans of Freddie Mercury and Queen, which, of course, I think many people want to go see that movie because it was about Freddie Mercury's life. <clears throat> as well as being a musical, because it's about the band, Queen. And also, A Star Wars Born, which its primary audience is women. Okay, and even say this as well. The movie creators clearly did not want to see a musical version of a Taxi Driver-inspired 2019 movie. And it's very clearly that people didn't want to see it. But again, Hollywood made some pretty stupid, continues to make pretty stupid, poor-ass decisions and wonder why people don't go see movies anymore. Borderlands, again, could have been a hugely successful movie series, okay, based off a video game. But instead of making the movie animated, because I don't think people would have cared about the age of the characters if the movie was an animated movie. Okay, like, 
and if the movie actually worked like the games, okay? But no, they didn't do that, you know. Uh, we won't do that, okay? You know, that was like one of the big questions, like, why are we having these, like, 50-year-old women portray, like, 20 old characters? And also, why isn't the movie animated? Like, why? Why Why doesn't Hollywood, why is Hollywood so afraid of making an animated movie that is R-rated? Like, it could have easily been, a, I know Borderlands movie is PG-14, but, again, that's like of the actual Borderlands games, the newer games themselves, the Borderlands series. The Borderlands movie continue to make some of the ba- same problems, okay? And saving with the quote, a lot of fans are saying, yeah, we don't like this. This is why Hollywood needs to listen to the fans if they want a successful movie, okay? This is why the fans are the people you must make happy because they're going to be the ones who go out to see the movies, okay? That's why Sonic 3 has been, is going to be so successful. The Sonic movies franchise is so successful because they listen to the fans. And in the second movie, they actually kind of made the human characters less and less important besides, of course, the main villain of Sonic, Dr. Eggman. So, you know, but Wild well, Robot is expected to drop to 19 million. It's actually a pretty decent drop off. Um, <clears throat> Mew Juice, Mew Juice is gonna make another 11 million. Transformers 1 is gonna not do too well, continue to not do too well. Uh, Speak No Evil is gonna continue doing well at the box office. Yeah, Speak No Evil is a whole bunch of movie where it's, yeah, it's doing pretty well. White Bird is also expected to open like 1 to 2 million. Again, Ryansky has yet another failure. But again, I think this movie was always going to be overshadowed by Joker 2. Okay. And the whole... I think that... I think White Bird... This is a... That was a movie of, like, development... Like, development hell. And it was overshadowed by the Joker. But... Other than that, this is a... Joker 2... His massive, massive failure. Okay. War Buzz killed... Free franchises by making free mistakes. Aquaman, which was continuing to include Amber Heard in the movie, when clearly that's not what the people wanted. Furiosa making a movie focus around a female character, and you know, when and not even advertising that as a Mad Max movie until two months after the movie before the movie come out. Okay, because yeah, the movie was really just advertised as Furiosa. If you're like, what the hell is Fu- who the hell is Furiosa like? And then, Joker 2. Like, they, they really are fumbled. Like, I get Mad Max is not the most successful franchise in the world. But, it really shows you when it pisses off a majority of the fan base of a franchise, people don't like it. And that's about Joker 2. Goodbye.